<laughs> I'm almost there! I'm going! I'm going! I'm going! I'm going! Oh, I'm coming, Claudia! <laughs> Would you like to look at the book? No, I don't want to look at the book! Ladies Made and it! Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the final part of Assassin's Creed, and I am well prepared. I've got lots of armor, I've got the Altair armor, I've got more health, and I've got lots of codex pages. They were a pain in the butt to collect, but boy howdy, I am sure as ready as Ezio's face can be. Also, you meant you forgot one thing. What? Not only are you prepared for all those things, but you got a lot of stubble there. I look damn sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I look so damn sexy. The new Ezio Auditore. I'm not, I'm loving my loving my beard. It seems you have yet to talk hey, what's the matter, you Mario? I want to get to know my beautiful facial hair. Only then can we begin. Okay, I can kind of hear it. Oh, you can kind of hear it? Yeah. I, I can kind of hear Mario talking just now, but it was a little quiet, but I, I think we can manage. All your codex pages, yeah, it's okay. Go and see Leonardo and have him make sense of their contents. Oh, then, that's right. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to, Jesus Christ. I, uh, hold on. What are you doing? Um, Leonardo. Oh, he's here. Hi, buddy. Leonardo. Leonardo. Leonardo, I need more of your codex of pages! Leonardo, Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha, -ha, you found another one. How exciting! I'm, I'm sure glad you put said it all right. I'm glad they put Leonardo in this area. If I, just I didn't even know they did. They would do that. Like, wow. Because they don't want um, us to walk all... They were so They were so kind because they don't want us to walk all the way to, you know, Venice or whatever to... Have all have Leonardo to decipher it, but they have the courtesy to make me walk all over Venice, an area with multiple poopy stuff to go collecting. Well, to be fair, I, I kind of I always found my codex entries while I was playing the game, so maybe I didn't come across this problem. It is time, Uncle. Let us finish what you and my father started all those years ago. Indeed, perhaps now we can finally make sense of this prophecy and put a stop to whatever it is the Spaniard is plotting. We should start by locating the vault. The codex pages will lead us to it. Let's take a look. Hey, hey guys, hey guys, it's in Rome. It's in Rome. I can tell you that. It's in Rome. But oh no, we gotta figure out where it is. In Rome. All right, time to have a puzzle. Now it's a puzzle time. Oh, lovely. How do I, well. Okay, I got it. Start at the corners, make your way there, okay? Vicky T. Hurricane knows what he's doing. You gotta trust him on that. I'm trying to help. Keep helping. Unlike a certain green snot who does the opposite of help. Oh, okay. I see where you're going with this. I give you a lot okay. of credit. Give me mm -hmm. that's and lots of credit. Yes, you do. Alright, shape. Like, actually, you don't even need my help. Wow, um, you're already figuring this out all on your own. Is it possible for you to turn up the volume a bit? Oh, the volume's already been... It's already been how it was when we always record. Um, oh, okay, okay. Maybe I'm... Oh, wow. Um, What is it? Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Silly Tori. Man, you need some tea. I'd say coffee, but you don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee. I have chocolate, though. Chocolate chip waffles I made. You, um, you. I probably should have cooked them for a little longer because they're not as crunch. They're not really crunchy. They're kind of floppy like pancakes. Mm hmm. You're making waffles. Mm hmm.
There we go. Now, do you see what I did? I forgot to mention in the I forgot to mention something. So what I did there is that there are these assassins logos. Um, hold on a second. Let me. Assassin logos. Behold! It is a map Behold. of the entire world, but there are lands shown here that do not exist. Apparently, they do exist. I imagine they've yet to be discovered. Or rediscover. How is this possible? Perhaps the vault will hold the answer. Do you see where it is then? Um, it's just guys haven't it explored can't be. yet. The vault. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's Pope not Alexander. The vault access to, mm. but the staff as well. What staff? The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. The papal staff is the second piece of Eden. For years. No. I like how his voice is young Ezio with that beard. It's so now, weird. At last we have mm -hmm. but, so too but you'll see a major difference in his and voice does, in the in Brotherhood. If he finds a way into the vault. Its contents will make the apple seem a trifling thing. I must go to Roma and find the vault. What are the rest of you? We'll do what we do best. Cause some trouble in the city. So yeah, believe it or not, um, Rodrigo, uh, Rodrigo Borgia was a real Just person. Let me know when you are ready. Oh, I know. Yeah, he was Pope Alexander the Sixth. You know what's funny about Ezio's voice? So they said they did, there's like three versions of him. One is the young Ezio, and the second is the one you're hearing right now. But mm -hmm. they said there was like a third one, but I'm not really hearing a difference between the now Ezio and like the teenage well not the teenage but like the the older one yeah like th this between this voice and his t his like mid 20s or 30s you know second voice because it kind of mm -hmm. sound the same actually so what I wanted to tell you is that so when you're doing these um rotating these codex pages may pay mm -hmm. attention to the assassin's logo and if they're like this then it might give you a hint to let you know that you're on the right track some mm -hmm. of them have them and some of them don't, so. So, let me, uh... There's Australia, man! It looks like the Codex is on Australia, not Roma! You liar! Well, it's like uh, an island off Roma of Australia, that's really you. interesting. Let me know when you are ready to depart. I am ready to go to Roma. Ah, <sighs> Roma. Imagine if there was an Assassin's Creed game that took place in New Zealand. That would be pretty cool. Oh, that would be cool. So, I'm not going to play too good. I'm going to play a little bit good because I want you to pay full attention to the area. Roma. Okay? Roma. 1499. Because I'm going to try to get, take a good... I want you to take a good look at this area. Mm -hmm. And then compare it to, well... That the, se uh, the second uh, um, um, Brotherhood. Mm-hmm. I don't want to spoil anything of Brotherhood, so take a few moments. Hmm. We're entering the Vatican illegally. Hmm. The bridge. You gotta make sure you dress in your Sunday best. Oh yes. Hmm. <laughs> I remember going to the Vatican. That was an interesting day. Oh, in in person? God! Mm -hmm. don't, Ezio, don't <laughs> don't start. Don't start, please. I'm already in a good mood. Don't ruin it. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna order this man to drown. The the thing is, like the women have in the fat um who go to visit the Vatican have to wear skirts. So I had a skirt packed. Thankfully, it was a really nice skirt. A little nice outfit kind of just arranged for that so I really liked it and so we went through the vacuum very beautiful saw this the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel mm -hmm. oh my goodness oh my goodness Leonardo did an awesome job with that ceiling okay no it wasn't no no wait no it was Michelangelo I think oh my god Ooh, okay hold on one sec um so you're looking at this area Tori Okay. 
Yeah, it was Michelangelo who's painted the Sistine Chapel. I'm sorry, it was not Leonardo, it was Michelangelo. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a very pretty area. But, continuing the story, but yeah, I saw this, the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. Beautiful, beautiful, like, holy shit, that one person did all that, like, holy crap. It was amazing. And then, we kind of saw the Pope in the distance, and some of his bodyguards, which had these really funky looking costumes, by the way. They were very interesting. And, I remember after that, we went to see the Roman Colosseum. To kind of, to, you know, go there, because it was one of the things on our itinerary. And I remember that day being particularly windy. And... Feel free to laugh at this, by the way, but my skirt decided I wanted to pull a Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe? Marilyn Monroe, yeah, you know, you know the famous shot where her skirt lifts up and she has to put her hands... Oh, that picture, oh. Yeah, my skirt decided I wanted to do that today, that day, because it was windy. Oh. And so I was, like, quickly trying to... <laughs> Like, I, that legit what? happened. I kid you not. That legit happened what? to me. What? At the Roman Coliseum. Wow, looks like you're posing for GQ magazine. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying my skirt decided. It was, again, it was a windy day. My skirt decided they wanted to do that. And so I'm like, I'm quickly scrambling like that. Don't do that! Don't do that! That's sad. There was nothing, there was nothing sexy about it. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> but and then and then afterwards, after we left the Gal Roman Coliseum, it started raining, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh boy. Like, there, I thought you would like a funny story relating to my adventures, my little day in Rome. If that makes any sense. Oh, Tori, sweet angelic. Pure Tory. Hurry up! I have to meet the mm. Hey, I don't think about. I never really used a taunt, you know, in the game. Hmm. Never. No, not really. I'm. The you reason why I'm trying. Use... Go ahead. The reason why I'm tr I'm trying to get you, like get you to have a feel of this place because once you beat this area, you will never come back to Roma again. I know. Take look at it, Tori. Mm -hmm. Just look at it. Beautiful. It's like this area was incomplete, and they only built this area for this one thing, and then you know. It feels like a last-minute addition. It's, yeah. But then, but then the, the ending bit, you know, like with um, Minerva popping up, wasn't definitely was not last minute, but they had to find a way to work that in, you know, I'm sure. Yeah, it kind of sucks that there's no replay values in this game. Mm. Uh, you know, you make a point. You make a good point. Ooh, nice. Nice landing. Oh, thank you. God damn it. It's, it's, yo, come on. Left, Come to on, the man. right, to the right, to the right. There, there we go. you go. Pull the switch. Like, I already told Hurricane this in my game. I already fully, um, <sighs> finished, um, doing all the renovations for Monte Regioni. And in such a short amount of time, no less, too. Um, I did all the upgrades. I had saved the money, did all the upgrades I could at the time. Waited for some more money to come in. Did some more upgrades, and then I bought the maps for treasure locations. And you, yeah, there are maps that will reveal the location of treasure that you can buy at the um. What the? From the painter area, painter shop, up by the way. And so while I was waiting for stuff for the chest to be filled, I was collecting all the treasure. Also collect the statues around Monteregioni because. If you complete a set of statues, which will, there will be four of them, you get 2,000 florins for each one you complete. So that would be a total of 8,000 um, 8, florins, which is pretty good already. Invest that. Then I went to Tuscany, or Tuscany, bought um, the treasures there. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, buy the paintings because that does add value to the property. Uh, it's optional, but it will add value, so you'll get more income coming in. 
And I got the I found all the tre I got the treasure map from the painter at Tuscany. And then I did the I explored around. I while well, I was exploring around, went for the treasure chest to fill up completely. I was also getting the fuel points too. And I went back and it was enough for me to upgrade Montregioni completely. Renovated. Oh, I remember God. it. Oh, I remember this part. Wait, uh, this I remember part how. Is, yeah, this part's bull crap. It is brutal. E Ezio, yeah, it is. Ezio, e throw the bomb. Throw the bomb. Throw the bomb. No, no, no! God, I hate these controls. Get on the horse. Away from the camera. Now, right away. Right away. Right away. Right away into the sunset. Hey, hey! Don't close the gates. Stop the. Ride like the wind and don't look back. Why? Do, why are you stopping? Go! God! Ugh. You got this! You got this! God! Uh, I hate these controls! I hate them so much! Like he Drago, jumped! help us! Like he leaped and he's just stopping! He just stopped! I feel like that's scripted, like the horse being stopped like that is scripted or something. But... Like I remember I was playing this on my own, trying to clear this area, and that he was just dancing! He wouldn't like counter people, he just stopped and danced! You stopped and danced. See, now I can't ride my horse. I gotta do it the stupid way. Go slow. These horse controls are abysmal. I hate when they make the AI so smart. I can't grab them. I can't, like, nerf yourself. Nerf yourself. Oh, that's okay. I will never be playing this game anymore. I mean, say what you will about how great Assassin's Creed 2 is. Brotherhood is the better one. Because mm -hmm. the combat just what sells the game for me. I agree. There. See, I like when you AIs are stupid. It gives me it gives me hope in the world. There is hope! There is hope! But I hate when you throw rocks at me. I was already traumatized by rocks. When I was 17. Oh, it was terrible. Terrible. Can you imagine Ezio having PTSD from rocks? <laughs> Yeah, it all started when his face was scarred. Ah! Look at this! Look at this! Ah. There we go. Like the guards will like the guards will have Ezio tied up. And then they will interrogate him. They'll put a rock in front of him and he's freaking out. Oh! No, rock! Not Get that away from me! Ah, oh, what's not wrong? Face. You don't like not rocks! No! <laughs> no! It's ruining it ruined my face! I ruined my modeling career. I was gonna be I was gonna be Keanu Reeves, but they wouldn't <laughs> let me. <ca> they <laughs> <laughs> but they wouldn't let me play the part because of my terrible scar. Oh my God, I was gonna assassinate you, but. Sure. Uh. <laughs> they were gonna call me Ezio Week. <laughs> Ezio Week. <laughs> Instead of the dog being killed, it was his it was his father and brothers. Do not worry, father. I will avenge you. Okay, Rodrigo. Time for you to die. What are you staring hey, can, at, Ezio? Can we just grab I him and throw him off the edge. Oh, I was going to. And then Ezio hey. and Rodrigo are at their final moments. It is over, Rodrigo! I have come to kill you. I will avenge to all those who... What are you looking at? I am sorry, Ezio. I cannot stop staring at that scar. What scar? Oh! Oh! <laughs>
Is my scar really that bad? Yes, Etsy, yo. Your scar, it is embarrassing. Why do you say my name like that? What do you mean, Etsy, yo? It is, it excuse me. What? What were you gonna say? Go ahead. Go, you finish your thing. It is, excuse me, Goombas. My Uncle Mario has told me about King Koopa. And I'm going to defeat him very soon. You just remind me, I don't think you saw the description I wrote for, um, Lineage. Oh, I should probably watch Okay, it. so here's what I wrote. Giovanni Auditore is a banker who is secretly a member of the Brotherhood. Maria and Frederico know his secrets. Even Ezio, Claudia, and Percuccio in the dark, so it sucks to be them. While Rodrigo Borgia suspects something while stealing apples for no reason. Okay, maybe there is a reason for apple stealing. While well, having an interesting way of pronouncing people's names. But hey, we get to see Ezio's dad in action, so there's that. Oh yeah, apple stealing. I don't know why I picked the apple stealing thing. I, apparently that's what stood out to me the most. That was my main takeaway for uh, Madrigo Borgia. He opens the box and it turns out it's a half-eaten apple. <laughs> oh, this would have been a really longer... That would be a longer game than usual. <laughs> I see you found my snack, Ezio. Rodrigo, what is this? This is the profit. This is what I was hunting down all those many years ago. Yes, Ezio. Would you like a bite? No, I don't want a bite. What? You can't... You... Screw this game. Is... I'm going home. Turns out the apple's like very moldy. Oh, and God. rotten. <laughs> it is like you, Ezio. Rotten and old. Old? Not that old. You are <laughs> old, Ezio. Well, at least I can get it up, Rodrigo. <gasps> Ooh! How that's fired! Dare you! Look at this, it is Big Chug's Borgia. <laughs> Big Chuggas! I haven't been called that since I was. I, I mean. Time for you to die, assassin! I feel like this was the easier part, in my honest opinion. Well, I had a hard time with this because it was a stealth mission, and you know how I feel about stealth missions. I still think this was the easier part compared to earlier, in my opinion. Yeah. It's too bad they can't put, like, like... Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was gonna go back and loot them, but... You know, I was gonna finish... I don't finish... think it's worth it. You have too much money. Yeah. You know what's funny, though? I kind of wish it was like doctors and cloaks or oh never mind I did it never mind I'll take it I'll accept it they let you go forward yep I accept it it was the game's fault it knows its lesson now I'm gonna take a look around this area oh, beautiful. I remember being in this room believe it or not in real life yeah, in the Vatican. Look at this tour. Look at this story. Mm -hmm. I like how there's no door leading out. Yeah. Yeah, there is no door leading out. What? What? How did he get here? How did people get there? How do you exit the room? Do you just climb? <laughs> I That's don't a... know. Ugh. I'm trying to think. What is wrong with you people? How do you not have a door here? How am I supposed to get in and out of the church? What? I thought I thought I was beyond this, but I'm not. I've waited too long, lost too much. Requiescat in pace, you bastard. I don't think so. No! <laughs> ah! My mind! It has been taken! How is it you resist? I see. Kind of you to bring me the apple. 
Now give it here. Vai a farti fottere. Just like your father. Well, rejoice, my child, for you will see him again soon. You will give it to me. As you wish. This is stupidly cool. He clones himself. Which is really scary, by the way, because imagine killing these Ezio's and thinking, wait, I killed the wrong Ezio. Oh no, which one's the real one? Oh, which one is the real one? Oh, which one's the real one? So do they act on their own? Is that what's going I like how they're different colors. That's interesting. I know, and guess what? They're AIs. You can actually make... Like, they actually play, uh, the AIs are controlling them and they get to help you. Why hasn't that- Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. Finish your thing. Why hasn't this been an official move? Like, after you beat the game, you can clone yourself and beat the guards. Wouldn't that be, like, wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah. You are right to fear me. Also, the thing is, I noticed how notice how in the cutscene, like all the uh, the clo um the Ezio copies are the same, have the same coloration as your Ezio, but then this happens and they're all different colors. Right? Which I found interesting. A clever trick, but useless. See, that's why I hate the combat so badly. Just dodge, counter, dodge, counter. I'll Look at them. Down, I like how they're not really doing much right now. All right. Well, you need your clones to distract him from the front so you can see it behind from the back. You know what? I like and your plan. How long do you think you can keep this up? Why are you attacking me? Attack them. Oh, I can't stab him. Ah, that's not an option. That's stupid. It is. I like being able to one-shot people. It gives me power. Of course, they want to make this a challenge. Bullcrap. How long? Do you think yeah, I do up? have to agree. It's like the fact that they make you do it this way, you know. Yeah, this isn't. This is a stupid fight, honestly. I'm just whacking him, whacking him, whacking him, whacking him, you whacking him. Whacking him, whacking him, whacking him, and more whacking. Hey, idiot, you just hit me. Sorry. You are right to fear me. Uh, Rodrigo? <laughs> what is it, assassin? Where's the door? Um. Uh... No! Cutscene! No, you will not take this from me. It's finished, Rodrigo. Lay down your arms, and I will make sure the end comes swiftly. Really, Ezio? And would you give up so easily were it the other way around? Oh, now, now it affects him. No! No! Give me back my apple, damn it! Imagine if it was an actual apple. Uh, Rodrigo! To deal with you. <laughs> or, but yeah, instead of it falling out, uh, the apple even falling out, it was an actual apple. It's like, wait, what is this? Where's the apple? Uh. Ooh! Not again! Poor Ezio, he's scarred in his lip, he got stabbed, and he got stabbed again. This guy can't catch a I break. I like how it goes through his armor. Like, really? What was the point of wearing that arm you? But I have the armor of Altair. This makes no sense. Altair, you betray me. You betray me, you didn't keep the promise anymore, you trick me and I'm the fool. You're tearing me apart, Altair. There is blood on the ground, it's amazing. Oh. Oh, no, he's fine. There no, he's fine. The floor. There's no blood anymore. No, 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 Tori, he's fine. He's fine. See, look, 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 I, see? I said there was blood on the ground. That's all I said when he got up. No, really, where's the door? Uh, I, there, how do I get out of here? Okay, whatever. <laughs> An oversight. It, 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 you know what it makes me think of? You know the Drake and Josh uh, meme where it's like, Drake 
Where's the door? Wait, 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 hold on a second, hold on a second. I, I, I wanna I wanna do this, 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 I wanna do this. You'll be soft. Qua! You're supposed to draw a door over there. We did. We led did. There's so there's a I mean, you just need to use your eagle vision and... Oh. Le- Oh. We forgot to let door. <laughs> so, uh, how do I go to the bathroom? I'll find you a toilet! So go find the toilet! I'll go find the toilet! Oh. Ow. I see the problem. Oh, do ya! <laughs> <laughs> and Madge is like, oh, well, we gotta pull out a bottle then. <laughs> I didn't need an eagle oh, vision. Oh, at least I it's not too far ahead. Right? Yeah. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh, there's a door. Oh, really? The door there and the door on the other side. Oh, look how futuristic it is. How does the Vatican hide this what secret? Is this place? Magic. As Kelly would put it, There's no magic! It's an artifact! It's just a thing is magic! What are you talking about? Oh, I wanted to shoot him. Open, damn you! Open! It's over. Probably it's not go. for you. No more tricks. No more ancient artifacts. No more weapons. Let are you crazy? What you are made of, old man. All right then. Are you crazy? That's how you want to play it. Okay, fine. We'll play by the game's rules. But oh, oh, he's really serious, huh? Mm -hmm. What, what if I pay you money? With about Rodrigo? <laughs> yeah, you know tossing money at your problems. Or do you mean to tell me? The great and powerful All that is glitter is not gold. Are you trying to bribe me, assassin? God. It's God that dwells within. You expect me to believe that God lives God beneath the Vatican? A more logical location than a kingdom in a cloud? Let's say I want to believe you. What do you think you'll do when you open that door? I don't care. It's not approval I'm after. Just power. And you think you'll give it up? Whatever God is meant to be all yeah. knowing, all powerful. You think a couple of ancient relics can harm him? You know nothing, boy. You take your image of the creators from an ancient book. A book like. You are the Pope, and yet you dismiss the central text of your faith? <laughs> are you so naive? I became Pope because it gave. What? What? I can't hear you. Wow, the game. Wow, game. Sorry, Ezio, but you keep punching me. Oh, so am I supposed to dub this? Religious artifact. Aw, I was gonna read that. Wow, game, you actually messed up on that. You'll I remember the original game, it didn't cut out like that. Maybe it was the porting. We'll just blame it on the Animus. Wow, Rodrigo. I'm young and healthy. You're old and frail. I will strangle you. I'll strangle you to death. And now here comes one of the lines that beat a certain game in the face. You can't. You can't. It's my destiny. Mine. I am the prophet! You never were. Get it over with, then. No. Killing you won't bring my family back. I'm done. Nulla è reale. Tutto è lecito. Requiescat in pace. Now, I want to speak on, well, I want to speak on this right here.
Ezio? How did you get the Apple of Eden back? I like how Ezio is flicking his cape forward as if to hide the pouch. Oh, uh, what pouch? Ezio, you have a pouch. How does that, how does that, how does that even, how many Apple of Edens do you have? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have a pouch. You're seeing things. It's, it's my other pouch. Your other pouch. Yes, my other pouch. It is a, it is a guy thing. <laughs> 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 oh boy, I love where this is going. Welcome to the Science Greetings, Museum. Prophet, it is good you have come. Let us see it to give thanks. Wait a minute, Prophet. How did you get the apple of Eden? Uh, I told you, it's in my other pouch. It is a guy thing. We must speak. Who are you? Okay, Miss Quiet. When I died, it was Minerva. Before that, Sorry? Minerva and Minerva. Oh. On and on. The others, too. Juno, who was before called Uni. Jupiter, who was before called Tinia. You are. I just realized something. <laughs> mm -hmm. She has the same Hello, voice as the Animus from Assassin's Creed. You simply came before. You're right. Even when we walked the world, your kind struggled to understand our existence. We were more advanced in time. Your minds were not yet ready. Still you know, when you're in this scene for the first time, you kind of it kind of clicked on you going, "Whoa, you may not this is interesting. Us, I want to see where this is going." I like how she's looking at this. She's must. looking at us as opposed to Atsio. Not what you are saying mm -hmm. makes sense. Our words are not meant for you. What are you talking about? There's no one else here. Yes, sir. It's us as the audience. Huh. I do not wish oh, audience. To with you, but through you. First question, how did you get the Apple of Eden if you did not pull it from the staff? Oh my god, stop paying attention to detail! Be silent, that we may commune. Listen. I like the music that plays around here. When we were still flesh, and our home still whole, your kind betrayed us. Let's go, get back here. We who made you. We who gave you life. We were strong, but you were many, and both of us craved war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. And by the time we did, the world burned until I am not remained the but ash. That's the it sun. should have ended then and there. But we built you in our own image. We built you to survive. And so See, this is where the game gets interesting. They're talking about the Apple of Eden, the events, Minerva, but as the series goes on, they completely drop the ball. But we rebuilt. And explored something completely different. It, it's sad. This is why I lost interest. And time will work against us. I think, you know, the direction of Assassin's Creed franchise should have taken, it should have explored this more, honestly, in my opinion. Yeah. Let my words preserve the message. I mean, they ha they legit have a premise here. A perfectly but good premise to follow here on this. Right? And they just drop it. Like, really? They dropped it like the GS ball. They worked to protect us. To save us from they the dropped fire. it like a hot potato. If you can like when I hear Valhalla or Odyssey, I don't hear Assassin's Creed. I just hear something completely new and completely different. Like the fact that it's canon to the games to me just it just retcons everything about Altair. And maybe that premise you can tie it in with the present time too, if you think about it. So like there'll be a sequence where you have to um like you you'll have it instances where you have to play in the real world. So you get the locations that correspond with the ancient stuff, and then mm -hmm. try to uncover stuff. You know. No the rest is up to you, Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? 
I don't understand. Please wait. I have so many questions. Will you go out with me? <laughs> <laughs> Just burns him alive. What Legit. The fuck? Legit. <laughs> like, I, That's what we were all thinking when we first played this, isn't it? Right? I remember the first time I saw this scene. Uh, let me reenact it. What? That's it? You're just gonna end it right here? Kelly! Kelly, the game is gone! Did it crash? No! Minerva was talking to Ezio about the world being on fire, cooking scrambled eggs, and the game just ended! That's not fair! I wanted to see what happened! Oh, man! It's only about 10 minutes well, minute. I yeah, guess I'm gonna have to play go. Assassin's Creed 3! Yeah. yeah. Alright, Sean, I need you and Rebecca to get everything in here packed up and loaded into the truck. You and I will deal with the Templars. What, they're here? It was only a matter of time before they discovered us. To be honest, I'm surprised it took them as long as it did. Let's go! Wow, they have perfect timing. Mm-hmm. Oh, look what you have! You got a... I got a... I got a, a chucky blade. knife. Come, girlfriend! So, what's the plan? We ditch this place, and then what? I like how it's like a playable, um, credit scene, honestly. I think it's good. Oh, yeah! The credit the scene. Oh, <laughs> uh, the credits. I like how they make it playable as opposed to just you sitting there watching the screen, you know? Oh, uh, yes! It gives uh, you something to do, and it adds Mr. to the story. Miles, doesn't take away, it adds. This is an unexpectedly pleasant. Oh, uh, hi, Oh, that this douchebag. Kind of you to save me the trouble. What do you want, Vidic? They upgraded his you model to too. Home. I see. We oh yeah. Terribly. There's still so much work for us to do together. It's not happening, Warren. You continue to disappoint in every conceivable way, Miss Stillman. I saved your life once. Do you remember? And this is how you repay me? You saved me so you could keep experimenting on people, destroying their lives. And for what? Oh, this tired argument again. As I recall, you were there. God, his voice. This tired Every argument again. Their blood is on your hands just as much as You know as what? I'm not gonna lie. I mean, to we all know what happened with Lucy. She's a traitor, Yeah. She did a good job acting like she wasn't. It's almost as if, like, um, it was, like, her being she was not quite last minute, but kind of. But it makes sense in hindsight, almost, if you think about it. I mean, right? how else... Why was it so easy for them to escape the beginning? Ah! Uh, pick up the stupid thing! Go easy. Oh, I hate these. I hate this combat. I hate this combat so much. At least you have a weapon. I'm trying to pick up the weapon, but he. Oh boy! Pick up the weapon. Good boy. Pick up the stick. Up stick. But yeah, I mean, like, I feel like. In hindsight, the beginning of this game where you were making an escape from a stair though, it seemed a little too easy in my opinion. Sorry, friendly fire was enabled. Take that, Templar! Take that, Tem I'm kidding. But yeah, you understand where I'm coming from with that, right? Yeah, totally. Like, I like <laughs> how we get to play with the credits, um... Rolling, so you're not just sitting there bored, because, uh, I'll, I'll get to that after we finish this. I know the beginning of this game where it was it seemed too easy to escape, you know? It seemed like it was too easy. I think your security would be a little better than that. And the thing is, though, with Warren Vidic showing up, you look at this villain from the first game, and then he shows up in this scene, and then you're going, I can't wait to kill this douchebag. I want him dead. It builds up. The, 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 the... Move, girl! Uh-oh, Doc. Whoa, where the hell did Sean like come from? It's just you and me now. Enjoy your victory, Mr. Miles. Temporary as it is. Whoa, 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 I got it. Oh, 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 oh. There's Rebecca. <laughs> there you are. Come on. Help Lucy into the van. Again, Hurry, here too. No to too go. easy. This looks, this is way too easy. You'll have You're your right. turn, Desmond. This whole setup right now Warren's gonna get what he deserves. feels off. I promise. So what now? Where are we headed? There's a cabin up north. 
You see why, was, like in hindsight, you see this stuff way. and you're like, no one wants I have suspicious. To analyze those tapes from your session of Lucy, and it makes kind of makes sense. It's and then kind of, like in there hindsight with Lucy's reveal, you know, being a traitor. You might want to play around with the animus on the way. All right, but I got some questions first. I mean, what the hell was that in the vault? What you saw proves um, I don't think he I wants to be in the animus the while they're start. traveling, honestly. Not by a long shot. Yeah, not a good idea. What, the sun Especially is? the bleeding effect. What's it gonna do? Cook the earth? I doubt it, but I don't know. There's been some speculation that the Earth's magnetic field is weakening. A sufficiently strong flare could flip the poles and cause a geomagnetic reversal. It's all theoretical, but if it happens, the planet could become geologically unstable. Very unstable. It's meant to be the stuff of pseudoscience, but... Okay, so if they need the artifacts, then it'll stop it from cooking, it seems. Yeah. Minerva, was it? She seemed to think we were due for a second round. So either way, we're fucked. I don't know yet. We'll keep reviewing the tapes. And you can keep digging through your memories. Maybe there's more to discover. All right. Guess I'd better get started. Ugh. By the way, I just want to point out one thing that we have to sit through the credits 15 minutes long! That's how the long the credits are rolling by right now! 15 minutes is way too long. You have to go through this unskippable text just scrolling on by. I don't care for the credits. And I remember playing this on my own time and I couldn't skip it. I was frustrated. I had to sit there and watch this. Brotherhood did the exact same thing. Also, Revelations, there's no excuse. Why this long? Why you have me sit there? At least with this, I can play th while the credits are going by, but Brotherhood, no. I had to leave my Switch on. This is, this is ridiculous. I don't want to listen. I don't want to watch this. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? I, you know, enjoy the, enjoy the music. Well, I'll just talk over it. So yeah. Yeah, easily. Um, yeah, so again, Assassin's Creed 2, it is better than the first game. It does have some good charms. It has great music. Ezio, mm -hmm. again, he is Assassin's Creed. He is the reason why you and I play the series, because of Ezio. He is like the Urkel of the series. And where they're going with the whole... <laughs> it, it, as long as they don't give Ezio, like, suspenders and glasses and, and tall socks and a nasally voice. You know what? I kind of yeah. want that. But, uh... <laughs> you, you want that now? No, you don't want that! You don't know what you want! Honey, don't. honey, honey, how wins uh, oh Did God. I do that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that is... Oh my god. But yeah, so... Mm, my face um, hurts. Huh? My face hurts from the grinning. Oh, I'm glad. That's, what, that's my job, baby sis. But yeah, um... This game, it's, it has so much charm. The Switch version has better color than the last one. Because when they released Assassin's Creed 2, they have this ugly, sepia tone, gray, diarrhea, water, brown, sewer, mud color. That yeah. even Twilight Princess had the nerve to pick up on. And even though they want to do like a... brown. Yeah, and even though Twilight Princess wanted to do like that kind of color, I would have preferred the vibrant colors of Ocarina of Time. But they did that because they want to try a different, darker thing, but okay, but I, I, I don't like it. So, yeah, uh, I the problems with this game, I hate the combat, the controls, you saw me struggle, climbing, trying to get Ezio to assassinate one person, but he, instead he assassinates the wrong target, uh, I would, he won't climb on certain things even though it's right in front of you, like the bridge, like trying to get up from the water in the bridge and that one uh, bridge where he didn't want to climb up on, and... Mm -hmm. uh, and, oh no, they're playing that sad music again. Oh god, I hurt its feelings. Oh, I'm sorry, Assassin's I'm sorry, Ubisoft, but I have to tell the truth. Um, yeah. Ezio didn't really play much of a role. He had, like, a large role in the beginning, but it kind of just died down until you kind of have to wake him up again to do, like, Ezio's movesets. And, mm -hmm. um, um, yeah. But, you know, like, like like they did with the story, with Minerva talking to Ezio through Desmond about the th about what's about to happen in the future. About he needs to, like, get, like, the Apple of Eden to stop the Templars, I guess. To get, like, the artifacts and get many Apple of Edens as possible. Mm -hmm. And from this point on, 
they tried that, but somewhere in Revelations, they, not not Revelations, like in in AC three, they completely abandoned the whole Apple of Eden saga, and just went on to a whole different storyline. Yeah. And they 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 dumped the whole assassins and Templars. To assassins in Egypt and Vikings and Spartans, and you're thinking, who the hell? Bayek? What the hell? Wait, so Altair wasn't the assassin we all that he started the group in? They just changed the story, and as I said before, I, I, I can't believe they did this. Like that's this is what drew me into the story, and as I've said before, I'm not into historical stuff. I find that very boring. But I get why they did this, because they want to teach us a lesson. But for some reason, what Kelly showed me, like, this this drew me in. Like, this is was Assassin's Creed. The idea of having assassins and Templars just having going war with each other and having this artifact that they need to protect to save the world. That's interesting. That's This is the game that I want to play. But now they're taking a nosedive and decided... Let's kill all- let's end Ezio's life. They- they did ed, end off Ezio's life perfect, but after mm -hmm. Ezio, I don't care for Connor. I know he lost his mom, but I don't care for the character. I don't care for Edward- Edward. I don't care for Hathen. I don't care for, uh, Adewale. I don't care for that chick from Revelation- Re Liberation. Bayek uh, was okay. Aveline. Aveline, thank you. I don't care for Bayek. Bayek of Siwa. I don't care for the Spartans, Casalina or Alexios. Layla, I don't care for especially that one cutscene where she interacted with her ancestor. That was really stupid and weird. It Wait, was you mean, you mean Cassandra slash Alexios? Yes, Cole that Alexio. That was not her ancestor, by the way. Oh. Oh, so, oh, that was not her, okay, so that was somebody, oh, whatever. That was somebody okay. else. She found the DNA on the spear, and that was how they were doing it. So it was not one that related to her. Oh, okay, <sighs> whatever. At least with, oh, I don't want to say what happens later, but I want to, I want to wait, I want to experiment it with you. But yeah, so, um, ex ex excuse me. We don't care, we don't really care about Eivor either, so there. I don't know who Eivor is. Who is? Uh, Valhalla's protagonist. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. but yeah, ex excuse my ranting again. This, this game, this game soundtrack is beautiful, and they have the nerve to take Ezio's family and slap it into the later Assassin's Creed games, like it's the main theme song. Guys, for no reason. You can, you can, you can main theme a song for all I care, but you do not. But you remember this. This is Ezio's music, Ezio's family. You can't write music for a character and then change the name to main theme into a different thing. It's always gonna be Ezio, Ezio forever, bada bang. I mean, it's in the name of the song too. Right, and Cassandra interacting with an ancestor is just laughably silly. Well, actually, what? Cassandra interacting with the guy who had this beard, that was her real father, or whatever, that was... It's, well, I was Alexios talking about Layla, I mean, excuse father. me. Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying, like, before, when, um, Alexios slash Cassandra gets this beer, that's, that was a real father or something. Oh, uh, okay. Weirder um, than my sound. Yeah. So, yeah, with Warren Vidict, you know, it, 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 it pains me to... to you know, playing Assassin's Creed 3 and just like, I like what they did with Desmond. I hate mm -hmm. the model. I hate his face. No offense to the, no offense to the guy who had like the, the, the real actor. You're not ugly. Don't worry. You're, you're handsome. Pause. But, Ed, but, De, but, Ed, but Desmond's face did not need to change. And secondly, um, though, like, I like how Desmond has a main role in 3. If they added that to Revelations, that could perfectly tie into Ezio's uh, Ezio storyline and Ez and Desmond at the same time. I just mm -hmm. it, it just that one cutscene with Warren Vidic, that he was t like his father 
was kidnapped and he was tied into a chair, Desmond had to save him. He he holed up the Apple of Eden and then his guards, they, he controlled his guards to shooting one, pers one person and then shooting Warren Vidic. That took away the the feeling of rage and, and and aggression and vengefulness and and you're like oh man this guy kidnapped me this guy's taunting me I'm ready to kill him he runs away oh good I get to finally kill this douchebag and but nothing. it was and it was nothing it, they took it away from us they took it away from me mm -hmm, I agree that it was messed up so yeah Excuse my ranting again, audience. Hi, people who are watching. The legit T don't blame you. Tori, your thoughts? Still a good game. Story is still good. But, you know, again, the controls, you know, from when I played it, because, you know, if you look at the When Tori Plays video, mm -hmm. um, yeah, even I agree that the controls are, were, um, are not as great as they were in the original game. Yep. Which... No surprise, that was bound to happen, I'm sure. But even then, like, mm -hmm. even then, you know, the story is still good, as I remember it, playing. Cause, like, oh, I, yeah. Believe it or not, I played the game back in 2015 for the first time, and so I'm like, oh, man, this is still good. The story was good. I was invested from start to end, in my opinion, for the story, for Ezio's story, because, I don't know, it, it, it hit on a, not on a personal level, but it... It hit a good note, in my opinion, for that. And I always... I, that's why I think I like the Ezio trilogy more, in my opinion. I agree. Still very, very good. Um, what else can I say about this? Let's just say I cannot wait for us to start Brotherhood. Because it gets good from there. Oh, it gets I mean, better. You can only it go up from here, basically. You know, when I look at the covers from the Ezio trill from the Ezio um, games separately, you look at Ezio, you look at Assassin's Creed 2 and it's baby Ezio, and you look at Brotherhood and it's and he's like, "Oh, we're just getting started." And then you go to Revelations and uh, oh boy, ah, uh, well, it's sad, but focusing on this game and Brotherhood, it it um, I. I don't know how much you remember about Brotherhood, Tori, but you'll like get to experience it with me, and you know, yeah, and you'll I get you. You'll see why I like Brotherhood more, but there is, oh boy, there are downsides. There are downsides, he says. Which, let's be honest, it wouldn't surprise me. You also notice I wasn't being very talking about the negatives too much in the games. In the, I know, the, the I Twitter. noticed that too, and I was very impressed. Good on you, buddy. Good. Give me I a hug. I am very happy. Oh, you you have no idea how happy I am about that. My arms are still open. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, the soundtrack is beautiful, 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 beautiful. Mm hmm. Oh, it's, it's a good soundtrack, really. It is. And I, and honestly, I don't really, and honestly, I don't really recommend. For, I don't know about you, but I don't want a hundred percent this game. The feathers, like you said before, they unlock some cape, which gives me a high not notoriety. <laughs> like, no, thank you. Yeah. What really? Yes, what? guys, it's a black screen. Okay, I pressed the Music. button and something happened. But again, they they really missed out on replay values. Like I would I wanna replay Rome again. I wanna replay that area. I wanna see that area again. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so basically, this is the whole point where they're saying, uh, Desmond can play around. As if, as if the, um, what Ezio just saw never happened. Wait a minute. You hear the look at the book? Claudia, did you not know what just happened? I saw Rodrigo Borgia. Would you like to look at the book? And then I got the Apple of Eden. Would you like to look Would at the book? Like look at and the book? 
And then I, 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 I was right near Rodrigo, and I took off my armor because you know what? I didn't want to be a sissy boy because pansy baby wimps use weapons against old people. Would you like to look at the book? And then I pow, kick, slam, and I hit him when it hurts. Would you like to look at the book? And then the vault opened. I went inside. Would you like to look at the book? I met this woman in Minerva. Would you like to look at the book? She told me of something very interesting. Would you like to look at the book? The world on fire. Would you like to look at the book? Claudia, would you listen to me? The earth <laughs> is going to die. So, would you yeah, Is there anything you could book? say? Can you say something else without looking at the stupid book? I'm tired of looking at the stupid book. Then he grabs the book. There! I don't want to look at the damn book! Would you like to look at the book? Can you say something else for God's sakes? Have you killed Ducho? Have you killed Ducho yet? Katsu! Petzo de merda! I am raised- I am surrounded by idiots! Ezio! Leonardo! Would you like to give me a hug? No! Would you like to look at the book? No! Would you like to give me a- No! Get away from me! Ezio! Mama hasn't been talking! Mama! Oh, Mama! <laughs> you, you, you go, like, it's Ezio's like, he's tough, he's tough, he's like, he's, he's like, having him. he's like, getting angry, he's like, no! I don't want to talk about the book! You know what I don't, it's like, Lena, it's like, I don't want to hug him, like, no! And then like, Ezio! <laughs> My mom. And then Ezio breaks down, it's like, it's total 180. And then he breaks down in tears, and then he gets on his hands and knees, holding his mother's hands and kissing his- kissing her hand. MAMA! Oh, MAMA! I love you, MAMA! <laughs> well, guys, this was a good ending point. Thank you so much for watching. We had fun, sort of, but, you know, uh, thank you. And we'll see you all on Assassin's Creed brotherhood mm -hmm. yes 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 yes